everyone. So today we are doing a very exciting... What? Oh, do I have something in my teeth? You're looking at me kind of weird. Is there... Is my makeup all messed up? I don't know what you're noticing. What is it? What is it? Do I look different? <laughs> oh, oh my, my hair. You're noticing my hair. Is it really that drastic of a change? <laughs> I thought it looked normal. <laughs> okay, for real? Yes, I'm wearing a wig. Have you worn wigs? <laughs> but that's okay because this is a Halloween video or if you do not celebrate Halloween then this is just a video where we are trying fun costumes I am being festive with the wig, but I'm also hiding something So every year I try to be a little bit festive and do at least one Halloween video and this year We have something very exciting planned I feel like this is going to be all over the place because I've been accumulating so many products for so long Literally some of these I ordered four or five months ago and they had to be made custom yeah. So in this video, we are going to be trying on bougie, expensive costumes. And I'm trying to say costumes, not costumes, because I know that makes you guys mad. When deciding upon your costume for Halloween, there are many different avenues you can go. You can thrift pieces and make a really cute look. You can buy affordable costumes. And then there's this whole nother category that I honestly didn't know existed of really, really expensive accurate costumes, almost like cosplay looks. Actually, that's probably what it is. And I'm so excited to dive in, but I know there is another concept on my channel that you guys really like where I try on kind of the more scandalous costume and then the more accurate one and we compare them. So don't worry, there's gonna be a little bit of that incorporated into this video. I've seen your comments wanting that again. So we're gonna put it in this video. We're doing a little bit of everything. It's a Halloween extravaganza. If you don't celebrate Halloween costume extravaganza. <laughs> Okay, so the first costume we have to try on is none other than Princess Peach. Yahoo! Oh my gosh, sorry. I don't know what that was. This dress was literally so expensive and I didn't fully realize how expensive it was because it was actually two payments. You can pay with the deposit, which is 420 or the full payment, which is 985. So this dress was a thousand dollars. And yes, it is insanely expensive, but the craftsmanship, I mean, if you really want to wow your friends and money is no object and you want to be Princess Peach, maybe this is the one. Check it out. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Stop. <gasps> oh, it's one of these. It's in so many different pieces. It reminds me of when we tried on medieval wear. Oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like a peach. It literally smells like a peach. Oh my, it's so good. And the skirt. And this is the one that took months to be made and was made to my exact sizes. This is the skirt. It's all pushed in here. <gasps> So fun. Oh my gosh, it's like expanding in front of my eyes. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is so much skirt. This is so much to handle and I'm wearing a wig. Wig. This is beautiful. Oh, wow, look at all these layers. This is fantastic work. You might just be watching this because it's entertaining, not because you actually want a thousand dollar Princess Peach costume, and that's fair. But I also bought a wig. This wig was $320. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at that. <gasps> Look at those little flips up. Stop. It feels like foam. If anyone's curious what this actually feels like, it feels like foam. Okay, I'm officially sweating. We are going to put this whole ensemble on. <laughs> okay, I don't know how Peach dealt with this piece, but... It's here. Now, I can hardly fit in this closet right now. So let's come out. And don't be fooled. This took like 30 minutes to get into. It's fully laced up in the back. Oh, and I have my hoop skirt on. Without the hoop skirt, it was a lot flatter. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This wig is so cute. It honestly looks like cartoon hair. Look at that. It's so peach. It's so cute. It's got like the perfect pieces going out oh, into the side. It looks like cartoon hair. I feel like I have to go as peach this year for Halloween because I cannot waste this. And I also can't get over the fact that this dress smells like a peach. I don't know. Why? But that is service, people. So many beautiful layers to this dress. They definitely 
did right by Peach. Also, my mom cinched this up, and oh my gosh, she is trying to kill me. It's so tight. My mom did the like Pirates of the Caribbean on me. She was like, this has been real. I can't breathe. It's so pretty. I got to spin. I don't want to fall off of this stand that I'm standing on. By the way, you were wondering why I got this. It's because it will show the dress perfectly. Oh yeah, like every detail is so cute. And keep in mind, this is fresh out of the bag. This isn't even after a steam. I think the only thing is I probably should have got the neckline smaller so that it was like this, but I could fix that, you know. I can sew a little bit. I could tighten that myself. 100% worth the money. I never thought I would have this in my collection but it will fit in just right. <laughs> now, are you ready for some mischief? Because I think we can all agree that was pretty accurate. But do you know what isn't super accurate? This one. Now, I wanna make myself very clear, and I've said this in the other videos where I compare them. I am in no way shaming people who wanna dress a little scandalous. I am here to support you in your decisions. If you wanna show off your booty, you do it. I will be over in the corner encouraging you, but I cannot help but think it is so outrageous when this is Princess Peach. Princess Peach, what are you wearing? Oh my goodness, Princess Peach. So yes, the scandalous Fashion Nova costumes are striking again. I mean, we must put this on. Let's look at two different styles of peach, and then you can tell me which one you would wear. All right, I decided to leave the wig on. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here I am, Princess Peach, duh. I'm a mouse, duh. I really can't get over this one tuft of hair right in my face. I don't know how Peach does it. This is scary, isn't it? You're freaked out, I understand. I mean, I feel like it is Peach because it's got this and it's got the pink dress. I personally need a little more clothes. Being vulnerable, being brave right now. So the age old question, would you want to wear this peach costume or this peach costume? I personally would want to wear the bougie $1,300 total one for multiple reasons. It provides more warmth. I feel like the idea comes across more, but you know what? It depends on you. <laughs> Alrighty, I feel like you all could probably see what's coming next. I got a Barbie costume. Costume. Costume! I also got this one on Etsy. It was packaged in an orange container, which is pretty great. Doesn't smell like oranges anymore. The statement is the wig. I think we can all agree that in the Barbie movie, the wigs were wigging. So I wanted to live that wig fantasy. Oh, <gasps> beautiful. Beautiful. Can I just say people who style wigs are so talented? I have tried to style wigs. I tried to style this one. Ooh. It doesn't ever turn out super well for me. Look at that, look at the length. Look at the inches here. I had kind of high hopes for this, but it's feeling kind of classic costume. Costume. <laughs> I need to stop. Yeah, this doesn't feel amazing quality. I mean, it still feels nice and it definitely gets the point across, but it's not bougie seeming. And it even came with this necklace that is broken. I was trying really hard to find a bougie one for this, but maybe because the movie is so fresh, there was nothing. We'll put it on. All right, living my Barbie fantasy. I'm also wearing my Barbie heels. I remember when I was watching the movie, I was like, that is a really short dress. And it is, oh my. It's a little alarming in the back. But I mean, I love, 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 love gingham and checkered patterns. So this dress is so cute. I feel like it's not the most amazing quality, but as soon as you put it on, you know what you're gonna be. But the wig, look at it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's like such a lovely color and it's making me want bangs, which, that needs to be stopped right now. The wig is wigging. <laughs> this is the one I'm definitely most excited about before I chopped off all my hair. People always used to tell me that I looked like Rapunzel from Tangled. So 
I want to recreate that. So I got this beautiful gown and this was $250. So not your average Halloween costume price. Oh my goodness. Like look at that sleeve. Look at that beautiful sleeve. It is a lace up on the back. So that will take me a hot minute. And then here is the skirt. Pretty. Ooh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to put this on. But the moment is the wig. <laughs> I'm so excited. Obviously, I do not have my long hair anymore. So I needed a wig. And this wig was $800, but it was worth it. You guys need to understand the amount of work that goes into these. I'm sure you will once you see it. Hold on. OMG. It's really packaged up. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to unwrap this. This is a lot of plastic wrap. <laughs> oh. Sorry, girl. Okay, I'm gonna open this very carefully. It's been wrapped up pretty securely. Holy, oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, this is such a giant braid. Isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And look, they even have the front right, how it pops up into the side. I may just need to find myself at a Comic-Con dressed like this just to do this wig justice. This wig is probably at least 15 pounds. My neck is going to be getting a workout. So for anyone who has ever thought that I looked like Rapunzel from Tangled, we are going to figure out once and for all right now. Oh my goodness, you guys. This wig is Literally the best wig I've ever tried in my entire life. Oh my gosh. This is everything. Look at this. I mean, the dress is beautiful. It's very accurate to the movie, but the wig, I could not imagine a better wig. This swoosh right here, the flowers, the length, look at it. It goes to the floor. Oh my gosh. It's Amazing! I could do damage with this. I could definitely do damage with this. Stop, I'm literally living my Disney fantasy. The woman was too stunned to speak. Okay, I need to settle down, but this is the best thing ever. This is so fun. I've never put on a wig this long ever. This is worth the moolah. If you want to impress everybody, this wig, this wig. I feel like in this video, I have somehow mainly been talking about just the wigs. I just love a wig. Wig. A wig. The wig is wigging. The wigs were wigging. But the wig. The wig is wigging. The wig. <laughs> okay, I'm also kind of curious to see what this skirt would look like if I put the hoop in. I mean, I can't be the only one who's curious as to what this would look like. Excuse me, I'm flashing everyone. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> No, no. I'm sorry, I just need to get up close with this wig. I mean, these beautiful curls at the bottom and the flowers, I just, how did someone style this? And the dress is super cute too. I think it definitely needs a little steam because these satin-like fabrics can wrinkle really easily. This is probably, probably my favorite thing ever. I feel like I need a pan and a little frog on my shoulder, okay. Take one last look. I'm going to take it off. I don't want to, but I must. Why am I doing this? Salsa dancing. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> no one can make me. <laughs> you can't make me take it off, I'm an adult. Okay, and then I bought this. This was only $89. Now I say only because we've been unboxing $1,000 costumes, but I thought this one seemed pretty legit because the other ones that I was seeing was just flat green and flat black, but look at this one. Look at all that detail, va va boom. <laughs> it's just gonna be basically a cat suit, but I just, I felt like this stepped it up a little, a little bit. My camera can hardly see me in this black wig. It's so washed out. This is pretty extra too, I thought. Okay, another, look, I feel like I could slide off of this thing with these little sock feet. Whoa, it's pretty slippery in here. But okay, for anybody curious about the feeling of this, it's a classic polyester chip. Why, right now? <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> He's like, what are you guys doing in here? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> you have a little
little rat. Stand on the podium. It's like now that I've been at oh head yo. <laughs> Few things to know with this costume. Definitely more interesting than a classic just green and black. This is a lot better because it has the feet and also the hands, which anytime something has the hands included, I want to talk with my hands. I want to be like, yeah. But one thing me and my mom did notice is it has a perma wedgie built in. Yeah. I don't even have a wedgie right now, but you would think I did because look, yes. So there's that, which is kind of risque. This is another one that if I actually wore it, I feel like I would be kind of uncomfortable because even just this like, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of attention to be drawn. It's just very well shaded. But yeah, it's skin tight, it's not gapping anywhere, and it's smooth. And I feel like everyone would know who you were being, so this is pretty nice. But you could slip and fall. So keep that in mind. Okay, now that the bougie costumes are done, we're gonna have a little bonus portion for all the people commenting on my old videos where I tried on the scandalous versus the other costume. I found one and I couldn't hold myself back. I have never seen um, a scandalous strawberry or as it says on here, a sassy strawberry. Like if you wanna dress risque, I feel like the last thing I'm going for is, you know what would be great? A scandalous strawberry. I swear at this point, you guys just enjoy watching me wear things out of my comfort zone. So here we go. But of course we would have nothing to compare it to if we didn't get a another strawberry. This is kind of more a classic what I would think of when I think of a strawberry costume. So we'll put them on side by side. You guys asked for this, so don't blame me. Okay, you didn't ask for the strawberry one in particular. But I don't know what it is about these videos that you enjoy. I mean, I will admit it's kind of entertaining to see it side by side. But to get to that, you have to see me like this. Which if you're planning on being a sultry strawberry, I will say this is actually cuter than I was expecting it to be. In all honesty, it's, it's okay. And it's not the most uncomfortable thing I've ever been in. That's for sure. Like I'm actually pretty pleased with the amount of crotch coverage because sometimes these are so thin. But this one's not bad. If you wanna be a cute strawberry, I actually don't hate it. There is a 0% chance of me ever wearing this outside of this room. But if this is in the cards for you, now let's put on the, what would you call it? More typical? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put it on. Alrighty, let me get this out of the way. Alrighty, strawberry, oh, sorry. I knew something was still on me. Here is strawberry number two. This is the way to do a headpiece. Just put it on a headband. This is actually really cute. And maybe after Halloween, you could use it as a nightgown. It's kind of giving me nightgown vibes. And it's not see-through, thank goodness, because this fabric is super thin, but it's not see-through. And it kind of like bubbles at the bottom, which is very strawberry, like this. Like, there's no question. I'm a strawberry in this. But yes, if you miss the side-by-side -side videos, I will make a pinned comment. Give it a like if you want to see that next year. If you don't, don't like it. I just had to cover my hair. I'm sorry, but is anybody shocked with how expensive the Fashion Nova costume is? When did that happen? When did that happen, Fashion Nova? What the heck? I hope this means it's being produced ethically. Well, haven't we had a ton of fun today? <laughs> we tried some really bougie costumes. We tried some not so expensive costumes. And we even did the comparison of scandalous and not scandalous. We did everything. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are celebrating Halloween this year, I hope you have a safe and fun Halloween. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I wanna hear which costume was your absolute favorite down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button so that you're notified when I post new videos. And yes, thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye!